one of the key properties of the decentralized technologies as I see it is uh, persistence. So it's uh, it's basically pers persistence of uh, of the ecosystem to grow. As you like, if you think of Bitcoin, uh, it's. Um, it's it's growth or not not in terms of price but in terms of ecosystem it's in non it's non-stoppable because of the uh, incentivization mechanism that sits uh, that's that's embedded in Bitcoin uh, as in different cryptocurrencies so this persistence and kind of uh, non-stoppable nature means that we we will have multi-currency world and we will need to deal with it in, in some way I, I, I don't know what what it's gonna mean I don't know what what it's gonna mean for uh, like monetary policies or fiscal policies like how how governments are gonna deal with it but uh, it's gonna be there fiat is gonna be there and some sort of uh, so, some sort of intersection of those two is gonna be there so we need to figure it out so I've always seen Bitcoin as kind of a Swiss army knife in some ways, that it should have multiple purposes. It should be a store of value, uh, but it should be a payment mechanism as well. Uh, right now it seems to be falling more into the store of value camp. Um, I would like it to be expanded to allow for payments. Back in the day I was able to send or show people how easy it was to use Bitcoin by just giving them a millibit, uh, which was worth about 10 cents back then. Uh, now it's worth about $10, so things have changed quite a bit. Unfortunately, the transaction fee has also shot up with that, so I'm no longer able to be an evangelist for Bitcoin. Uh, what it's forced me to do is to look at other alt currencies, for example, um, Ethereum. So I can now do that with Ethereum and using these great wallets like Jax that have multiple currencies available on them, um, I can easily switch between each of these tokens as well. Yeah. So I believe in a world where everybody will have cryptocurrency. Uh, some of the, bit, the top 10 market caps and also a token or a cryptocurrency that they believe in, that they participated in, that they were part of the ICO. And I'm a big believer with Anybody who has a smartphone will be able and has a wallet, they'll be able to exchange value and that will be crypto. I don't think that uh, fiat will go away, at least for the short term, but in the long term, everything's going to be cashless, right? And everything's going to be borderless. And the best way to enjoy and also use value or send value is through cryptocurrencies. I'm a big believer in that. I see like if we can, I imagine the world like in 10 years or in five years, I think like in five years there'll be no, no startups without token economy because token economy helps a lot like to do just like the, to bring a value. If we, you ask me about the world in 10 years, I see like we will have 2 million cryptocurrencies for each company and individual. So you like as a professional filming someone you'll issue your tokens equal one hour of your working time and when you hire like employees your like token will grow in price because you, the, the liquidity of the token will actually change like so you, i can basically <clears throat> buy two hours for like of your time easily if you're like alone it's not that easy um, for companies it will change the stock market because stock market currently shows the expectations and if you like coca-cola will issue one coca-cola token equal to like half a liter of coca-cola that means they can f basically have a free money based on what they do now not they, that what they'll do like tomorrow or day after tomorrow and um, so i truly believe that we'll end it up uh, um, with a let's say barter on steroids so you'll like in 10 years you'll have a electric uh, electric wallets with a uh, 10,000 currencies in that, and then you say okay I don't understand how much money I own, and your wallet says okay it's like five Teslas or that amount of bananas. So basically people will always convert those kind of thousands of different currencies into the things they understand. Probably Bitcoin will be like like a gold standard. No one knows, but I truly believe there will be thousands if not millions of different currencies and uh, doing a business without tokenizing it will be uh, obsolete.